Hello guys! I am back with a pick a deck reading for you guys to see how the person that you're thinking about is feeling about you for this weekend. Um, these energies are fluid so it could extend past the weekend of course, okay? So you guys go ahead and choose which deck that you want to select to ask how your person feels about you, okay? We've also incorporated some Romance Angels cards as well as the Angel Prayer card, okay? So this would be deck one, deck two, deck three, and deck four, okay? Now, I would suggest um, choosing one but just so you guys won't get confused but of course you could choose more than one all four if you'd like um as long as you take out of it the message that really resonates for you okay so i'm gonna go ahead and move these other decks out of the way all right so let's move because i am operating on limited space here okay so let's shift those to the side and we will get started with deck one here. So let's go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card for you guys. That's that one. And that one. Let's see, go ahead and pose your question and assert the name of the person that you're thinking about. How do they feel about my YouTube fam? How does my person or your person feel about my YouTube fam here? How do they feel? How do they feel? We have a full. Father of Fire, which is the King of Wands, okay? And we have the Chariot here. Um, could be a fire sign, Cancer even you're thinking about. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. But this person is really wanting to approach you. Um, they want to take care of you, I feel, and they want to have something with you. They see success with you. Okay. Let's see. Will they make a move? Let's see if they'll make a move. What moves are they making here? Huh? We have the queen of wands and the strength here. Hmm. I think they will make a move right now. The Kings really, they are very controlled energy. Um, and they are, they care for you for sure. But the King of Wands is somebody that's a little on the cocky side. Sometimes um, a little arrogant, feels like maybe, um, you should come towards them but i do see that changing here with the queen of wands this is a more receptive more emotional energy right here some of them are trying to find the strength to come towards you i feel and be more emotional be more um take the initiative you know offer their feelings even here Let's see what is the possible outcome for you guys. Ooh, somebody's going to be all in their head about this. Um, and may even decide to leave this energy behind. Hmm. So maybe they are too afraid. Maybe they have not found the strength here currently. We have two eights. I feel like for, for a lot of you, you guys are like in a cycle with this person. It kind of goes back and forth between the two of you. Like one day, you know, you guys may be hot and heavy. The next day you might be cold and, you know, distant, not talking to each other here. 
because you know or either this is you guys feeling like you just want to be done with this I mean this energy can go vice versa okay so let's see what your romance angels card is for today can't get that card over getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so again like I said I feel like you know initially this person is really wanting you to come towards them they want they see themselves with you they see you guys being happy together but they're trying to like change up the way that they do things not be so arrogant not feel like oh he or she's gonna come to me I'm not budging well if they stay in that energy too long guess what you do it's like you know what <laughs> I'm done with this I can't you know let's see what the angel prayer is synchronicity thank you angels I trust your well-timed guidance and signs so for you guys I feel like um, there's probably a chance that this is meant to be your life partner because again we have the king and the queen of wands here that is a couple okay we have the yin and the yang right here so I think this is just a um, a notice like giving notice that um, maybe give this a little time maybe give it a little consideration just kind of see what they're presenting to you and just be open okay so that's deck one let's move on to deck two here deck two that over here let's shuffle a little bit and pull you guys a angel prayer see what's going on with you and your person that you're thinking about here all right guys let's ask how does my person feel about me how do they feel about me? How do they feel? Hmm, they're not really sure. They hide a lot. They hide a lot. They feel like they want to come and and extend a love offer to you, but they feel like it's going to be some conflict around it. Maybe they were very secretive in the past. Scorpio energy here with Leo. Okay, we have Pisces energy here, um, but they're not really sure if you're going to be accepting or whether you are going to bite their freaking head off. Okay, let's see what they will do. Let's see what they will do here. Hmm, I feel like they'll be honest. Oop, I'm trying to hold it up to the um, laptop monitor. Um, I feel like they'll be honest with you because they really do want to do the right thing. They want to do the right thing by you. Okay, this is very Libra energy here. And let's see where this is going between the two of you. Where is it going? Oh, that wanted to jump, so I'm going to take that. Hmm. I kind of think right now that a lot of you guys are like, uh, whatever. What the hell ever. Um, they were sneaky. They lied to me, and I'm just over it. Okay. That is what that is. That's cancer energy right there. Let's see what your romance angels says. It says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. This is, if you look at this card, there's two people on here. And I feel like maybe you guys just need to really spend some quality time together possibly. If you're open to it. And that may help a lot. Let them give them a chance to actually be honest if they have not been before transformation because they may have changed here I'm getting Archangel, Archangel my gosh Zadkiel thank you Zadkiel for supporting me to transform from my past challenges okay so I feel like not only have they transformed but I feel like um, maybe you guys want to not just jump to conclusions here and bring conflict if this person approaches you but that's just me okay that's just me speaking you guys do exactly what you want to do okay all right guys so that is deck two 
Moving on to deck three here. I'm gonna put this one over here on the side and we're gonna shuffle and get you guys an angel prayer. Let's see. Angel prayer, that one wanted to come, so we're gonna take that. And a romance angel. I can't even pick the deck up. Let's see if they upright. Doesn't really matter. Let's see. What do the romance angels want to tell me, YouTube fam? Take that one. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and shuffle and see. Ask this question. What does my person, how does my person feel about me? How do they feel? How do they feel about me? Hmm. My deck is all upside down, so I'm going to flip it. I, yeah, it's upside down. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. They feel like you weren't there for them. They also feel like you guys butted heads a lot here. Feel like you just wanted to be single. You just wanted to be on your own. You left them. You rejected them. And it's like, you know what? I just want to do me right now. Okay? Yeah, they feel like you're just getting your happy on and you could give a shit, basically. That you worried all about the money. Maybe you, um, a lot of you guys was focused on what they could actually do for you. Maybe they didn't have a lot of money. But they feel like you just like, you're selfish. You're all about yourself here with the Knight of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. And then they too may be like that because this energy can go vice versa, guys. Okay. So let's see what they will do. All earth energy here. Ooh. Huh. I feel like this person really wants to open up they are struggling with this guys they are struggling they are stubborn as heck too this person's stubborn as heck they know what type of bond you guys have they know it's strong but they are like restricting themselves like you know what who cares about them but at the same time, they think, oh my gosh, I love this person. They're so attractive here with the Nine of Pentacles. They got it going on. I want to come back. I want to come back. I think I want to come back. I want to go back and, you know, be there for them through thick and thin. I think I'm ready now. That type of energy. Okay? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like they're not wanting to really let go of their singledom. It's like this, they're having, they're needing to make a choice. They're needing to make a choice because they're not letting you go. They're not letting this connection go. Even if you guys are not talking right now, they're still holding on to you energetically. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Is this likely to come together? It depends. It depends. It depends. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, and the will of fortune does not mean that everything's going to be hunky-dory, okay? What this means is whatever you get put in, that's exactly what you're going to get out. So if you choose to hold on to your feelings and not share, not open up, then uh, that's what you get. But if you choose to be there for the person that you want, that you know you want in your heart, then that's the will of fortune. Okay? So it spins out whatever you put into it. Fixed sign here. Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius energy. And then any other earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. And Gemini. Okay, guys? So let's see what the um, angel prayer is. Take time to breathe. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease knowing you're here. I feel like this is a guided, divinely guided um, connection here. And I think things will happen um, in divine timing here. But somebody, this is the only major that will know the will of fortune too. This is, this is 
the universe. This is God. Okay? This is energy exterior to you guys. Like, make your choice. Make your choice. Take a deep breath. Think about this. Decide what you want so that it comes to you. Okay? So, romance angels. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay? Need I say more? All right, my guys. So, let's move on to deck four. Deck four here. Put that away. Let me shift that down a little bit. <clears throat> let's put this over here. All right, guys. So, let's go ahead and shuffle and get a Romance Angels card for you guys. Deck four. Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> An angel prayer. Let's see. Let's go ahead and ask, how does my person feel about me? How do they feel about me? How do they feel about me? Five of Cups. Missing you. Ooh, it's keeping them up. It's keeping them up. They must have done something. They feel like you guys belong together. They feel like they did you wrong. They feel like they did you wrong. Maybe some of you have even mentioned to this person before in the past that, you know, you guys are soulmates. You were probably meant to be together. And they probably were like, yeah, right. Okay. But, yeah, they're going through it right now. They feel like they did you wrong. They miss you. They feel like there's no coming back from whatever it is that they've done. This is very Scorpio energy. Um, maybe Gemini. Okay. Let's see what they will do. What will they do? Oh, they may offer. Because, I mean, they, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like this person is definitely coming back. Because over here, on either side of this person, we have a five... And the Ace of Cups, which is also the Six of Cups, guys. This is very strong here. This is something that's, that's very, very strong. And I believe both of you feel it. Both of you feel it with the lovers here. You guys are probably meant to be. And you've probably been together before as in not only in the past in this life, but probably many lifetimes before. Okay, very strong energy here. The only thing that they're thinking about is this connection. All of this is surrounding them. Okay, let's see where this is going. What is the outcome here? Five of Wands. They're conflicted over how to make this offer to you guys. They're struggling. They're struggling. They feel this energy so heavily, and um, but it's overwhelming to them. So I would not be surprised if this person reaches out soon. As soon as they figure out that all they need to do is just do it. Decide and offer. That's it. Okay? Romance angels. What do the romance angels have to say? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's because you guys are not talking. They feel like all is lost. That they cannot come back from whatever they have done to you. And they feel like it's a lost cause. Because again, like I said, you guys probably were the ones initially to bring this soulmate um, information to them and they probably shot it down okay they hurt you you guys are separated you're getting over it you're moving on and um, that's where the unrequited love comes in because you've let it go regardless of how strong you feel that the connection is between the two of you you cannot make somebody be with you and that is what you have come to grips with you know what deuces okay I can't make you love me so they're struggling with this all right, guys, angel prayer, speak your truth. This is more for the other person. This is more for this person that, that you guys are thinking about, I feel. 
Um, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. All they have to do is offer. But they're scared to death. All right, guys. So that is your pick a deck for the upcoming week. Um, taking you guys on into the weekend. And I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.